we, we get in relationships, we get in relationships and we like, well, this person too busy. Oh, this person work too much. Oh, this person got school, work, and some kids. I ain't got time for her, and she ain't got no time for me. God's available all the time. Yes. So what's the problem? Yes. James 4 and 8 says, draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. So I, there's, some, there's some steps there. Yeah. There's, there's some steps that you got to, I will draw near to God. I'm going to stay in my word to draw near to God. Mm -hmm. I'm going to praise and I'm going to worship to draw near to God. Because the word ain't going to lie. So if you make an effort, mm -hmm. one, God's already here anyway. Mm -hmm. So it, it's more like you draw near to God, the clarity in his voice will come more clear. All right. Because that's what's true. God's already here. God's already watching you. God's already got you. Mm -hmm. As you draw near to God, things will come into focus. Mm -hmm. My wife went to the doctor the other day. She couldn't see. And I was like, you blind? <laughs> they like, line eight, line seven, line this, this. I was like, use both eyes, baby. Use both eyes. Because she couldn't see. <laughs> As we draw closer to God, we get that focus. All right. We, we, things start coming clear. And we realize the trials in our life, things start coming clear. Yeah, I went through that, but I'm more, I'm stronger now. Yeah, I experienced that, now I'm wiser and know how to move on that. We realize things coming clear. Yeah, God allowed us to go through some things. But now I'm a better man, I'm a better woman yes, for it. Yes. William McDowell, I love this song. Wrap me in your arms. Mm -hmm. I love that song. Take me to that place, Lord, to that special place where I can be more like you. Mm -hmm. I, 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 that right there, like, that's what we should all be every day. I, I, like, I'm sick of this when we play it out, but that's what, that's what I'm trying for. I'm trying to get closer to God. Mm -hmm. I, I'm tired of making too many mistakes. Again, I got eight kids. Hey. I need to, I need to get my stuff to Say it, Reverend. My hands should be, I got eight educations. I got seven witnesses to play. I got eight for. I got, uh, a son, I'm trying to make him a football player, something to get a scholarship. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I got this, I made too many mistakes in my own life, and that does not need to carry over to my children. Amen. Life. Amen. Amen. I know in order to get that, I have to spend some more moments yes, with yes, God. Yes, 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 yes. And his moment was not enough because he, his human, his lunch, and his drink is not enough to know God. In this case, spending an hour at church on Sunday is not enough to grow continually to learn God and his purpose. Mm -hmm. we, we, we come in here, and I'm, I'm not talking, look, if it's for you, it's for you. If it's not, keep doing what you're doing. Coming here does not glorify nothing but the outer appearance of you coming to church. It doesn't, it's not fruitful for you just to come here. The old saying, you're going to go to hell, go to hell and stop. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to do everything possible. I'm going to rock some I'm going to do everything possible to experience life in the worldly manner. Because, hmm. look, there's, there's two ways to do this. It's life or death. Mm -hmm. Come on now. You either want to live a Christian life and get closer to God and get every blessing he has for us, or you want to go and try to get your own blessings and do whatever you think in the world to glorify your life. But I'm telling you right now, the world has an end, and the end is hot. But I want to spend in the presence of God, experience that joy and that peace. Yes. Sunday, that moment is not enough. Yes. Bible study is not enough. Yes. Just a five-minute devotion for me personally is not enough. Yes. I have to spend more time with God if I'm going to go closer. Yes. Yes. I'm going to stop this stuff. God, where you at? If I'm trying to smother you, and I'm not around you too much, yes. <laughs> Come on, God to smother me with his love and yeah. with his love and yeah. his wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. This is Pentecost Sunday. Pentecost Sunday. Holy Spirit, Acts 2, Holy Spirit comes down and he's in, he's in all the words. Holy Spirit with the promise from Jesus. Jesus said, I am leaving the earth and I'm going to send the comforter. Alright, if Jesus was on earth right now, I'm not saying he wouldn't be effective. I'm not saying that at all. But if he was here in 2013 and he was in Israel right now, we can see him on TV. You know, we got the internet. We can go on our phones. We can see him. But if Jesus is in Israel, Israel is mostly experiencing him and his glory. We only can see. We can hear about him. But Jesus said, I'm leaving this earth. In human form, I just serve those people. But the Holy Spirit is coming to cover the whole world. I have a moment with God 24-7. I, I can spend peace in us. Come on, he in us. Right. And right. any time you can experience the Holy Spirit. Yeah. We say
sitting here saying, oh, I don't know if I should do go left or right, but Holy Spirit said go right. He didn't. I don't know if I should invest in this, but the Holy Spirit, no, I got something else for you to invest in. Anything you ask, the Holy Spirit is there to answer that for you. He's the comforter, he's the counselor, he's the God. Come, if y'all want to experience God, well, he's in us. Yeah, yeah. And the more moments you spend with him, the more he gets louder, and the more he gets clarity. Come on. Yeah. We need to spend time with God that we feel it is true. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing new. We can read all Hunger Game books. We can read Twilight 1 through 7. <laughs> See all eight movies. We can read everything else. And the Bible is that. And I'm telling you, new yeah. revelation in the Bible every time you read it. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. this is, I read this a whole bunch of times. Guess what? It's something different this time. Yeah. Every time you read it, there's something different in the Bible to inspire your life, to touch a point in your life right now where you need some help. Mm -hmm. The moment, a small moment is not enough. But every moment you spend in God is fruitful. Every moment you spend in God is joyful. And it's great. We say if you want something, then let's go get it. Let's spend the moments with God where we are going to continually to grow. Because one moment is not enough. Amen. 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 Amen.